get a beer exit latest, Switzerland wants better access to EU markets The head of Switzerland's banking association has blamed the long shadow of Brexit negotiations for the slow pace of Swiss EU trade talks. Switzerland is the world's largest manager of cross-border wealth and the country had made no secret of its desire to capitalize as pieces of the city broke away following Brexit. Herbert Scheidt the chairman of the Swiss Bankers Association told the Financial Times that Brexit had made it harder to improve market access at the speed we had hoped before Brexit. The fear for Brussels is that anything given to Switzerland will be demanded by the UK during Brexit negotiations, Mr Scheidt told the FT. What has changed is the overall political environment. Brussels is currently very Brexit-centered, people have little time for topics related to Swiss banking. What has changed is the overall political environment. Brussels is currently very Brexit-centered, people have little time for topics related to Swiss banking. Herbert Scheint, chairman of the Swiss Bankers Association with the Swissing and Waiting for Movement on Brexit. Economist Gerard Lyons has warned recently that EU-UK negotiations over financial services are at a critical juncture. The expert said it is becoming increasingly clear that despite attempts from Zurich, Frankfurt and Paris, Brexit will not push London off its podium as the number one European financial hub. The chief economic strategist at NetWealth Investments claimed that, despite the political uncertainty of the first stage of the Brexit negotiations, markets are feeling confident London will remain the number one financial hub in Europe as well as potentially in the rest of the world, Mr Lyons said. So we've gone through the first stage of the process and now we're entering the next stage, and all the noises are that as we thought, or as I thought and many others thought, it makes economic sense for both sides to agree. Twenty months ago there was genuine fear about passporting, a euro clearing issue, now we've moved on to other technical terms but the mood has certainly changed. And I think there's confidence in terms of the financial markets that London not only will remain the major financial centre of Europe but will remain maybe one or two on the global list as well. Get a beer exit latest, Switzerland had hoped to capitalise the EU is also now waking up to the misplaced hype over the so-called jobs exodus from the City of London that was expected to follow the UK's decision to leave the EU. According to the findings of a survey of financial services firms by Reuters, there has been a fall of 50% in the expected number of jobs that firms had originally predicted would be lost. Similarly, last week London beat New York and Hong Kong to be named the world's leading financial centre in a key study using data from 2,300 financiers, the World Bank, the United Nations and the OECD. Barney Reynolds, one of the UK's leading voices on law and the City of London told Express.co.uk earlier this month that the idea that the EU can somehow replicate the city is just absurd. He said, there have only been four global financial centres in the last 400 years, Antwerp and Amsterdam, which were destroyed by war, London, a third of which was destroyed by war, and New York. But London has maintained its position as number one. There is no other global financial centre in Europe, and London's position keeps on pulling further into the lead.